This is how you get near infinite material in LEGO Fortnite. Now let's start off this video hot. If you guys don't know about this, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button. But there is a new duplication glitch in LEGO Fortnite. All that you want to do is place down any wall in the game. Once you've done that, you're going to go into your furniture section, go to your displays, and grab the wall mount. Then for whatever reason, the wall mount is glitched. As you guys can see in my inventory, I have eight total torches. I'm going to put one of them onto that wall mount, so that means that there's seven in my inventory and one on the wall. Once I break that wall mount, now I have eight inside of my inventory, but now there's two of them that are laying on the ground. So I've successfully duplicated one torch into three torches simply by breaking the wall mount. Now I will say that as so far that I've tested, I have only found that this works on torches. However, there's a bunch of weapons, different type of food, and then obviously items such as torches can go onto these walls. So if you guys are somebody that has the time today, I would absolutely, and I think everybody would appreciate it if everybody tested out different items and commented down below exactly what does work with this duplication glitch. Now, I do know that obviously torches are not very expensive to make. So when it comes to this, this isn't the most useful duplication glitch in the entire game. However, it does show that there are still bugs and glitches like this that do exist. And if this does work for a torch, it is very likely that it works for at least one other item inside of the game. So let's hope that we can get some comments down below with some working items that do work in this game just to go ahead and continue to give us a leg up on everything inside of lego fortnite one of the best ways to duplicate your torches is exactly like this place down a bunch of wall mounts place down, down a bunch of torches and then break the wall and that'll duplicate more than one of them at a time so if you are low on torches not that they're very expensive you guys can duplicate them completely free now in the past i've given you guys a tip about carrying two different type of pickaxes and two different type of axes. The reason why you would do this is you would go ahead and break one item with the power axe and then finish it off with the luck axe. That way you get double the amount of material. So instead of getting seven obsidian, I actually got 14 for using a triple luck axe. Now, when you go ahead and use these pickaxes or use these axes, there are durability on them. So the more that you hit things, the more that they are going to break. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is teach you guys a trick today that'll kind of allow you to still get triple luck while not damaging a powered ax. Now, an awesome trick that has been going around is that when it comes to these lightsabers, they do not break. They just recharge after they have technically broken, but they will do damage to pretty much everything. So what I'm going to do is hit this bright core four or five times, and then I actually get to one hit it with my damage pickaxe. So instead of having to hit it two or three times, I only have to hit it once which means overall that this pickaxe is going to last a lot longer i'm sure some people are wondering well why wouldn't you just use the lightsaber if they don't break they did go ahead and think about that and they made it so that the lightsabers will not drop you any type of material so if you did try to break any items with the lightsaber you would actually not get the items back so the best thing to do is make them very weak and then use a pickaxe to finish it off now on this youtube channel we don't settle for good tips we give great tips. So we're actually going to remove the triple damage axe and replace it with the triple luck pickaxe. The reason why we're going to do this is when you hit a bright core six total times with a lightsaber, one time with the luck pickaxe will actually give you a better chance to get double the amount of the item. So in this case here, I only hit it five times instead of six. But when I did break it with the luck pickaxe, instead of getting seven bright core from it, I actually got 14 bright core from it. And you guys could see that throughout this little clip here, I'm going to continue to get seven or 14 based off of which one I hit. So the best thing to do in this game to double the amount of inventory that you're going to collect or double the amount of resources is use the lightsaber to hit something six total times. And then on the seventh hit, you're going to 
to go ahead and use that triple luck pickaxe and not every time will you get double but a lot of the times you will at least get double the amount while also rarely using any durability on your pickaxe now i already knew about this and maybe some of you guys did as well but haskins did post about this as well inside of the crash site which could be found either by the very dark smoke or that brown or very dark gray area on the star wars map there's actually loot and stuff inside of this area that you guys can go and farm as well so taking your max damage pickaxe simply go up and break these chests and in return you're not only going to get yourself iron bars but also frost pine and anything else that is left within there so you guys can go around this entire area break every single grand chest that is around here to grab some iron bars and frost pine which is a very useful and rare item in the game and then also go ahead and break some of the structure if you're not a big star wars fan for myself i'm going to keep these structures up here just because it is a nice sight to remember this live event but if you guys don't like them there's a ton of materials in this area now the lightsaber trick also does work inside of the snow biome so one of the first things that i did that i didn't show here on video was i put four campfires on top of the roof which makes it so that i cannot get cold inside of this area now when you guys go into here you could continue to use that lightsaber trick on the iron that is on the wall and then go ahead and break it with your luck pickaxe the thing about this is it does take about 12 to 14 hits with the lightsaber to make it weak but again your lightsaber does not have any durability and cannot break so it is absolutely worth it to try to go ahead and break some of these items up to get 14 iron instead of seven when you are breaking all of these up again it takes a ton of hits with the lightsaber which is going to drain it relatively fast but once again the lightsaber cannot break it is permanently in the game and it's going to help every single one of us when it comes to getting different type of items such as iron sapphire and anything that actually takes a lot of durability off of some of our pickaxes and axes and finally some of the most valuable info that you could possibly have is once you kill all of the stormtroopers that are inside of these caves obviously they are free to go ahead and loot and you never have to worry about any enemies in them making these caves overall more valuable than the ones that you would see in your normal world so what i recommend doing is going into the snow biome placing four campfires on top of these caves that way you don't have to worry about being cold and then without any enemies in here after you kill them you now have free roam to go ahead and loot this up get as much of the iron bar and frost pine from the chests that are laying around and if you guys want to you guys can go ahead and break or destroy all of the enemy builds in here to earn yourself max amount of loot